Hey what's up everyone, it's Alltech Pride here and today's video is a iOS 5 hands-on demo. Now this is still the beta version, the final version doesn't come out until a couple more months but this is all we've got for right now and currently the only way you can get iOS 5 on your device is if your UDID is registered from an Apple developer. So just look on YouTube, there's a bunch of videos of people that will uh, register your UDID. So when you first unlock your iPhone, you can see the home page right here. It doesn't look too much different. It uh, looks kind of the same. But we see a little new app right here. It's called Newsstand. Basically what it is, it's just kind of like iBooks. You can download um, magazines and newspapers into that little app. So you can download um, San Francisco Chronicle, you know, New York Times, any kind of newspaper or um, magazine that you may want. So that's pretty cool. Um, right here in camera, uh, there's new options basically um, and s right here whoops right here in options you can choose to turn on um, HDR or grid so they have a little new grid lines you can uh, choose to turn on and their uh, selection menu is a little bit different it's a little bit more rounded off and I think it looks pretty sleek and cool um, and once you take a picture um, you can actually edit it right on the device so let's go to your camera roll go to photos and click on one of your pictures and you can edit it right on the device like I said um, down here will be um, a little arrow where you can turn your picture horizontally or vertically over here is auto enhance so you can turn auto enhance off or on so that's pretty cool and nice that they added that feature and this little circle with a slash through it is just um, red eye detection so it just cancels out the red eye and over here is cropping so just drag the corners um, see if I can do it there we go so just crop the picture and then just cl click crop and save so let's go back to the home page um, a new thing called iMessages is basically whoops didn't mean to do that is basically um, kind of like on Facebook I am when you're chatting with a friend you can see if they're typing so if a friend of yours has iOS 5 and an iPhone um, as you're you know as you're typing the message you can actually see them typing the message so I think that's pretty cool and uh, pretty neat um, in the we're settings right here in the settings um, you can choose personal hotspot on or off um, again, you'd have to check with your personal carrier about that to see if you know if you can actually do that because it costs extra money. Um, Twitter is integrated in the iPhone now, so you just have to put in your username and password once, and you can have Twitter integrated in. So that's pretty nice. Um, if you go to General, and um, right here you can see iTunes Sync and Software Update. Basically, what these mean is you can actually sync your iTunes and your iPhone wirelessly now I really recommend doing it over Wi-Fi as it'll be much quicker and um, see the button is shaded out right now because obviously this is still a beta version of iOS 5 and the same goes for the software update um, you can just you know update kinda like Android over the air but again these are really big files so I really really recommend doing it over Wi-Fi um, a cool thing which is really neat but it really kinda looks like Apple will copy this off Android is the notification bar down here. You just pull it down, and um, it'll tell you the it'll tell you the local weather, the um, stocks, and you should have your Twitter right here. So that's pretty nice. Um, another thing is if you're playing an app, usually if you get a notification, you're just playing an app. It'll pop up in the middle of the screen which is really really distracting and annoying and it'll freeze everything in the game and instead of doing that basically it'll just pop up as a little notification right here and it'll say you know you have a text message or um, an update is ready for an app so that's really nice and much less distracting um, let's see where the app store is in the app store um, you would of course you know fill in your username and password and a cool thing is if um, no, now, um, if you go to your update tab, and um, you go to your update tab, you can actually click on purchased, and it'll show. Well, you have to sign in, but it'll show all the um, apps that you purchased, 
and you can just click um, install all and it'll install all the um, apps so that's really cool especially if you know you forget your account for a while and um, you don't know which apps you paid for so you don't want to pay for them again so that's pretty cool um, I think that's about it oh, no. one more thing is on the camera like I said you have a grid instead of all instead of clicking the little photo um, button down here you can actually click the plus volume rocker right here with a little plus on it you actually click that and it'll take the photo so just let it stay there and recognize it and then click that so there you go um, so that's really cool I mean I really like that it's um, pretty little nifty feature that they have there um, so for right now these are I think all of the um, oh one more thing right here instead of saying iPod I don't know why they changed it to music um, I like the iPod it's pretty cool like that but it's not really that big of a deal um, but yeah as I was gonna say um, right here is reminders basically it just does what the app says it does it just reminds you of things um, so you can just you know type in little um, reminders and it'll remind you and right here if you if you swipe um, right you'll have all your completed list so that's really nice and um, you can choose your list and date so there you go so again you guys not not too many um, features right now in the beta version but there's a lot a lot a lot of new features over 200 and iOS 5 is surely one of the best updates um, that I've seen and I really do recommend that you do um, get your UDID um, registered and install this right away. Now the iOS 5 update will only work on the iPod Touch 3rd generation and 4th generation, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and iPad 1 and iPad 2. So if you have any earlier models, iOS 5 will um, not be able to go on your device, which is, um, you know, it's not really of a shame because, uh, you know, if you have that the, um, those old models, I think it's time to upgrade. Um, so there you go guys. This is all we have for right now. I want to thank you guys for watching the video and please make sure to subscribe and like this comment or like this video and leave a comment as well. Thanks later.